Hey everyone, do you want to learn how to create animated videos like this? Of course, but how exactly do we do that? Well, stay tuned, we're going to show you how here on the Tech Hustle. So what you're going to want to do is to go to Adobe Express. Now I've created several different videos on how to get started with Adobe Express, specifically how to use that animate with audio feature. So we're going to want to select this option, animate with audio, where this one says animate your voice. So it's going to bring us to this page where we can then start animating our characters. Now, the one thing that we will need is a script. If you're going to do this, you will need a script. And as you can see, I used ChatGPT to write a quick 30 second dialogue between Waddles and Mr. Pencil. So the first thing I'm going to do is to record all of my lines with Waddles. Now I'm going to want to pause for about 10 seconds in between each line. So the first thing that I'm going to want to do is select my character first. So I'm going to go to animals, there's Waddles. And for my background, this looks transparent and it seems like this should be an option, but it's not going to work the way that I want because you'll have to edit this inside Adobe Express, which you can do, but I just like using different editors better. So I'm going to change this background into a color. I'm going to choose my color to be like a bright green, like a chroma, chroma key here, and you'll see why in a second. And for size, I'm just gonna switch this more to a portrait, just like this. From here, I'm going to select Enhance Speech, and then I'm just going to record my lines. Hey, Mr. Pencil, what you drawing today? Wow, can I help? I love swirls. Let's do it. It's the coolest snowflake ever. Thanks, Mr. Pencil. Okay, so from here, I'm just going to stop this, and in a few moments, this video will be created. All right, so now I'm just going to record the same video for Mr. Pencil. This time, I'm going to start out with a brief pause and then read my lines with, again, taking a pause between each line. Hi Waddles, I'm sketching a big snowflake. Each one is unique. Of course, let's draw together. How about you make the swirls and I'll add the sparkles. Look at that Waddles, we made a masterpiece. Anytime Waddles, teamwork makes the dream work. And now I'm done and I'm going to wait for that to process. Okay, so I have my two videos. They're now ready. I have Waddles and I have Mr. Penguin. So what I'm going to do is to download each video. And now from here, what you need is a video editor. Now I am using Camtasia, but you can choose whatever one you want. You can do it right in Adobe Express, but I'm going to choose Camtasia. You can use CapCut or ClipChamp or whatever type of editor you want that allows you to overlay video. So the first thing we'll need to do is to drag our video clips to the timeline. So here is Waddles. And then here is Mr. Pencil. And there's one other thing that we are going to need, and that is some kind of background. I just don't want to leave it like this. Okay, so here my background is. It's just this art studio that I put up here in the background. I'm just going to kind of reposition it. And now I'm ready to go. So the first thing that I want to do, I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. And I'm going to use, let me just drag this down. I'm going to use the audio here to give me an idea of how I start. Now that is going to be Mr. Pencil. This is Waddles. And now let me go ahead and play this. You can see that it starts right around here. So here we go. Just gonna be hanging out like this. Hey, Mr. Pencil, what you drawing today? 
And then Mr. Pencil is going to speak probably right about here. Just going to make this a little bit shorter. So then his uh, he can speak kind of just like that. Let's see. Today. Hi, Waddles. I'm sketching a big snowflake. I'm just going to kind of move them side by side. I'll take away the, uh, the green background in a second. Actually, why don't I do that right now? I'm just going to go to our visual effects. Going to choose... Uh, I'm going to choose remove a color, remove a color. I'm just going to use this color selector to remove that. Do the same thing with waddles. Perfect. We've got our two characters here. And now the one thing that I want to do is just kind of rotate them a little bit. I think I can do that this way. There we go. Okay, so now he's they're kind of facing each other. Here's Waddles. Mr. Pencil, let's go ahead and listen. Hey, Mr. Pencil, what you drawing today? Hi, Waddles. I'm sketching a big snowflake. Each one is unique. Wow, can I help? Okay, now there's a little bit of a pause, so all I'm going to do here is just sort of take out the excess like right here and right here. Okay, so next, right over here. Can I help? Of course, let's draw together. How about you make the swirls and I'll add the sparkles. I love swirls, let's do it. Okay, again, I've got a little bit of space here, so I'm just going to maybe trim this down a little bit. Look at that, Waddles. We made a masterpiece. It's the coolest snowflake Any time. Okay, so now this isn't quite lined up. I've got a little bit of dead space here, but that's not a problem because I have some extra space or extra video that I can use, so I'm just going to split this. Copy. Just paste this over here like that. It's going to move this down. Here we go. I guess I got to use it a little more. I kind of call this pad. That's why I paused in between each one of those statements, just to give me a little bit of extra room to edit. Here we go. Hey, Mr. Pencil, what you drawing today? Hi, Waddles. I'm sketching a big snowflake. Each one is unique. Wow, can I help? Of course. Let's draw together. How about you make the swirls and I'll add the sparkles? I love swirls. Let's do it. Look at that, Waddles. We made a masterpiece. It's the coolest snowflake ever. Thanks, Mr. Pencil. Anytime, Waddles. Teamwork makes the dream. Okay, and it looks like for some reason it kind of cut off my, my voice, but you get the idea on how to do this. Now, if you want to make this even a little tighter, it's something that you definitely could do. Of course, you can always add additional elements, text, audio music in the background if you want there's lots of different ways to go about this but if you're looking to create a dialogue like this animation i think this is probably the best way to do it so thank you so much for watching this video if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comment area below and i will do my best to get back to you have a great day everyone